Hi, today's video is on the drill trick on the British Seagull outboard. Um, a lot of people are having issues at the moment with with getting uh, getting sparked at a seagull. Um, they find that they've, they've actually tried everything and they can't get it working. This is kind of the last resort really. Um, just make sure you have a look at a couple of my other videos, particularly with the Y-Pack, how to clean the, the points, uh, the HT lead and your your plug and your inside the tip for the for the end of the the HT lead underneath the, the little base plate on the other side there and what I like to do with these is is actually remove the cover if it'll focus there now is remove the cover um probably would have clean the points at some stage but to actually spray on a little bit of contact cleaner onto the points just 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 right on it um, this way when you spin it up you can actually see the spark jumping across when it's a little bit a little bit wet from the the, the, um, the contact cleaner obviously check my other videos there with the, the points adjustment um, and how I make it up is I have I just have a, a standard Ryobi, Ryobi drill and I just made this I made this little piece here I'll just take it out for you now it's um it's actually three quarter three quarter inch drive it's for my my bigger socket set I don't have really expensive stuff I can make my own tools um so that's the that's the actual drive section of it there um and what I've done was I've I, I cut it off here and I actually just use my grinder. It's going to be a little bit wobbly, but that's all I really have. I don't have any any proper tools for the job, but it does fine. So it's probably done 30 or 40 of these spin-ups there now for, for seagulls. Um that nut usually takes a 24. Now there's a little bit of play, but it, it won't it won't slip on it. If you have the bigger nut, bigger top nut, usually it's a 32. As I said, there's a little bit of play on it, but it is enough to get it spun up anyway, you know, it won't slip on it. Um, so I just tighten that back down into my drill. Try and get it as, as, as straight as I can. As I said, it's only done with a grinder. Put on my, my socket. That's the smaller one for that one. I actually do it with the, the little plastic cover off of it. And I just tighten down my my nut. Now on, on saving us all seagulls and things like that, they've advised spin it up for five minutes, which I suppose is the, is the best way to go about it. With the, I suppose you could probably do it with the carb on, but I have the carb off on this one and I have it off for most of them. The carb off, the plug out, and maybe put a little bit of small bit of engine oil or. It's like WD-40 stuff I have there, just inside in the cylinder, just to give it that bit of lubrication inside, because it will spin up fairly quick enough. Um, spin it up for five minutes, reattach your lead um, and your plug, and check for your spark then. Now, you can actually check for the spark while it's spinning up, but I'll just show you how I go about it first, and I'll try and get, get, get you to see some of these little sparks inside. Just make sure you have your points set and cleaned, and Everything is set up before. This is a kind of a last resort. Hopefully you should pick up the sparks now on this one. So you can see the sparks there on the little points inside. So that'll mean she'll, she'll probably push it out to the, to the plug anyway. They'll, that'll dry out there in a, in a few minutes anyway. Um, so what you, what you do is you, you actually spin that up for the full five minutes and recheck it. Now what I usually do myself is just install the lead, put the lead onto it. Um, I have my plug there and I have a little couple of crocodile clips there with it with a little lead in between it. So it's just easy to hold it and easy to set it up. I put one lead onto head stud, draw the lead onto the plug, and I can actually hold that, clamp my, my seagull to my voice. And I can actually hold that and put my drill onto it with the other hand. 
obviously this is a, a clockwise motion as you would do when you're starting it. Hopefully the video will actually focus on that and pick it up the shield spark. As you can see there's a great spark there, a lovely blue spark there. Um, this one wasn't actually needing a spin up, it was just used for the, the sake of the video. Um, that is more or less it. Uh, spin it up for 5 minutes. Um, reattach your lead, make sure your lead, everything is clean and everything is right and your points are adjusted correctly. And your plug gap as well. I think there are 20 tau for the plug gap. Um, and you should get your spark but I do like to have that little bit you could just put WD-40 or something on those points just to see that the sparks going across and all you need to do is just reassemble and you should be good to go um, I particularly find with the the Villiers that they have they do need a spin up and your coil could actually be dead so you might have to actually check that so that's more or less it there on the drill trick. Um, try it for five minutes, reattach your your lead and check your spark. So that's it, like and subscribe and thanks for watching.